Hey everybody and welcome to the first of hopefully many informational videos for Don't Starve where I'll be creating tutorials, explaining items, mechanics, and much more, and I hope you enjoy it. So as you probably guessed, this episode is going to be about the Tam O'Shanter. What exactly is the Tam O'Shanter? It's a headpiece that restores sanity and provides warmth. It has a sanity restoration of 6.7 sanity a minute, which that is the best in the game. No other equipable item is as good at restoring sanity. If that wasn't good enough, it also has the added benefit of warmth during winter, providing a tier 2 warmth rating. This means in terms of warmth, it's better than the rabbit ear muffs and the cat cap. It's equal to the winter hat while offering more sanity, but it is less warmth overall than the beefalo hat, however that does not offer any sanity. So while that probably came off as a bunch of statistical nonsense, let's show off some real world examples. This is what matters. Dusk and Night are going to be some of the most common things you face in the game. They of course come with their own sanity penalty, and it's actually 5 sanity a minute lost. Tam O'Shanter again, it's 6.7 sanity a minute, so you're gaining sanity through the night, through the dusk, versus say you made yourself a garland, which is only 1.3 sanity a minute. You're losing sanity using garland. If you're using a Tam O'Shanter, you're gaining it. Did you know that just fighting something simple like a spider, is 25 sanity lost a minute as you're near them. While the Tam O'Shanter only restores 6.7, it's going to take the edge off of that immensely. You only lose the 25 if you're basically on the same square as the spider. Most times when you're fighting them with a spear, for example, you're a fair distance away. It's going to more or less cancel out. So, that's awesome! Evil Flowers, for example, they have a sanity aura applied to them. If you're too close, you'll slowly or rapidly start losing sanity. The Tam O'Shanter again can help combat that greatly. It won't completely mitigate it, but it will take the edge off for sure. And one of the absolute best uses for the Tam O'Shanter in my opinion is caving. So in caves, you obviously always need a light source. Most of the time you'd want to use a miner's hat. Now if you have a Tam O'Shanter, you can use a lantern, you could use a torch, and then you could have the Tam O'Shanter equipped, gaining sanity while caving. Most times you're going to constantly lose sanity down there. This can let you more or less live in the ruins. In fact, I've done it in one of my let's plays. It was really fun. How do you obtain such an awesome piece of gear? Well, honestly, it's not that difficult. All you have to do is survive until winter in your world. Winter is the only time when the Tam O'Shanter can be obtained as a monster drop. You must kill a Mac Tusk, which is accompanied by a Wee Mac Tusk and two Blue Hounds. The Wee Mac Tusk it cannot drop the item. The blue hounds, they cannot drop the item. The mech tusk, however, can drop the item. Now the reason you have to wait until it's winter to get the mac tusk to spawn is because in summer, spring, and autumn, those months there will be a crater in the ground where the walrus camp should be. Now if you find it during winter, you'll actually see the walrus camp itself. It should be noted that the mac tusk is only active during the day, so don't come here during dusk or night. Now fighting the Mac Tusk along with the Blue Hounds and the Wee Tusk, it's not very difficult, however there is some strategy involved. If you just run in there and you fight all the monsters, you're likely going to get ganged up on and it's not going to go very well. The one thing you want to do, if you're fighting it solo, you don't have any allies like spiders or pigs, is pull the Blue Hounds away. They're faster than the Mac Tusk, they're faster than the Wee Tusk. You can kill them off screen and then go fight the Mac Tusk. Now the Mac Tusk will constantly run away from you. He uses range attacks. It's really annoying. So you may want to befriend some pigs, send them after him first, and then he'll aggro onto them, allowing you to sneak up and finish him. Or, if you're a Weber, you can do the same thing with spiders. You could also set up spider nests around the Mac Tusk camp. You could use tooth traps. There's a couple of different things, but my favorite by far is just to befriend some pigs and send them in there. If you find yourself in this kind of situation where you've kited him to the edge near water, don't kill him here. He could drop the Tam O'Shanter and it could fall in the ocean and that's not something you really want to have happen that would be really unfortunate. The Tam O'Shanter has a 25% chance to drop when the Mac Tusk is killed, so you're not guaranteed to get it on your first attempt. If you don't get it on the first try, don't worry about it. The Mac Tusk will respawn, it takes two and a half in-game days, but he will come back. Now that you have yourself an amazing Tam O'Shanter, make sure you pay attention to the durability on it. Like most items, it will slowly degrade while you're wearing it. As if all the other features of the Tam O'Shanter didn't already make it amazing enough, you can also repair it. 
This way you'll never need to farm the Mac Tusks again. All you have to do is make yourself a sewing kit, and every time you repair it, you get 20% durability back. Alrighty guys, so that is it. I hope you found the video informative. I hope you found it entertaining. You know, obviously that this is the first episode in a new series, I'd really like some feedback. So, if you could like the video, go ahead and do that. If you want to tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below, do that as well. Did you find this kind of content useful? Do you want more? I'd absolutely love to make more of these videos to bring more and more knowledge to my fellow Don't Starve players. Not enough people know about the game, let alone understand it. Um, if, if I can help in any way, I, I think that'd be sweet. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.